like your house cats do. But this is Narla, and Narla was just rescued um, in the beginning of January. She was a former pet up in Rhode Island. I know we had some guests that said they were from Rhode Island. Did you guys hear about Narla's story at all? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. It was pretty well um, talked about in the news and everything. Yeah. Narla's situation was a man meant well trying to rescue her from a bad situation and had her as a pet. Uh, but when he passed away, she was no longer wanted. So uh, a few of our staff members went up to Rhode Island and drove all the way down with this girl uh, in a crate in the back seat. When we get a new uh, rescue, we'll put them in an area that's called quarantine, usually off the beaten path. And we want to make sure that the animal doesn't have any illnesses that could be passed to our cats. And also we want to judge the cat's personality. The cat, we think, doesn't want to you know, see large groups of people, doesn't like seeing people, then we'll put them in an area off the tour path. But Narla here, she's adjusted very well to her new home and she's very talkative. So typically when we walk by, she'll just pack here uh, to finish out her quarantine and then hopefully we'll be able to put her um, by the rest of our cougars so she'll be able to communicate with them and hopefully she'll be on the tour path. That way uh, she can get some enrichment from humans. Because the fact is, you guys are a form of enrichment for these cats. You guys are new, exciting people, and it, you know, gives them someone new to look at. Gives them a new little bit of enrichment. What kind of voice do they have? They will meow and purr oh, just okay. like your house cats, but they'll also, um, she kind of chirps a little bit. It's a high-pitched, Narla. I think she's a little bit shy. Because this is the first day we've really had permission to, you know, take a few steps off the tour path to introduce our tour guests to her. We have about 13 cougars here, and all except for three were former pets. So um, they're one of the animals that are most frequently tried to kept as, be kept as pets. <coughs> it wasn't until recently they were uh, put in a class one um, animal, which means that you require some form of paperwork to own them. What is a box for in the, in the... Just another form of enrichment, something for them to do. You'd, you'd be surprised how many of them actually will roll around and play with them, just like your house cat would.